Hello everyone. Um, I'm going to show you. I'm going to talk about this Frizin software. You need to install this software. It's a very good uh, program that allow you to uh, simulate uh, circuits, uh, and especially for kids that are not going to attend the uh, workshop, uh, and you want to uh, follow our uh, uh, workshop. Uh, you need to install this software, or you can actually uh, go and buy the uh, components uh, I listed in the uh, presentation. Okay. Um, so go to uh, fredzin.org. You're gonna come to this page. Uh, click on down link, and this software used to be free. Now it costs like uh, almost eight US dollar. Click on pay and download you might need to just uh, depend on what uh, laptop you have or PC either window base or Mac just choose that option and download you know once you download this software um, as I did uh, you download it to one of your folders uh, click on Fritzin uh, uh, .exe file so I click on that Okay, once the page load, load uh, you're going to have this welcome page, just click on the uh, breadboard uh, tab here. Uh, you will have uh, a full, uh, you can use this one, uh, you can zoom in and zoom out with the mouse. I prefer for a small project like, like this, use a half uh, breadboard and try to rotate this one uh, by clicking the board and just rotates okay um, on this side here this is actually the, the breadboard is where you're gonna put your uh, your part uh, LEDs resistor and connect them together okay so this is where we're gonna do our simulation and for those who never actually uh, heard about breadboard or used it before uh, the breadboard made of dots and that's where we stick the uh, uh, the uh, IC circuits or uh, electronic parts uh, here so if you click on one of the dots it shows you which dots are connected to so the yellow means all these uh, uh, dots are connected together okay if I click down here if I click down here you see all this uh, column is, is connected I click down here so most of the time the, the red is used for power and this blue here it's used for ground or negative so let's uh, uh, let's connect let's connect uh, I create those wire uh, jumpers so I'm just gonna delete them click on them and delete them. click and delete uh, I'm just gonna undo for some reason uh, did not okay so I'm gonna connect uh, my power to my uh, power on the other side and just to like so if I want to do that if I click on shift it will just make it nice and even I can also uh, click and drag the whole thing now I'm going to click on the wire again and do shift as you see like that make sure that you connect positive with the positive so, so I just move towards this and shift on uh, my keyboard that look nice now this is going to be positive so uh, you don't have to change the color but it just it's, it make it easier for you to know which one is positive which one is uh, ground so I'm gonna connect the ground with the other ground. So just click and drag, and then it snags uh, once you get to that dot. And click on here, drag it up. Same thing here. Okay. And since this is ground, we're gonna uh, change the wire to uh, block. Okay. Now I have. Uh, positive connected to positive ground is connected with ground. 
Um, next thing to do, uh, come to this uh, property window right here and select uh, Arduino. This is the, uh, the board that's going to have our microcontroller that we need to uh, program. So click on this infinity symbol and then all the ports with Arduino are going to be loaded. So the first one uh, is what we're going to use in the uh, workshop. So I'll just click on it and drag it. You can uh, rotate it if you want, and I'd like to rotate just so I have uh, pins I'm going to be using next to my uh, board. I'm just going to zoom in, and I'm not going to talk a lot about the, uh, because this is, this is the first lecture, like it's supposed to be like really basic. Uh, you can see the, uh, uh, the Arduino, Ono, is made of uh, USB ports, uh, power jack port this is where we input our voltage from 6 to 9 volts uh, uh, it will have like uh, some other ports you can see some of them are with squiggle it means something and then uh, some of the ports have just a number and it means some, something else and I, I will talk about that uh, for today lecture uh, the only thing that you need to know is uh, Arduino has an analog port and digital ports. When I say digital ports means just like when you turn on and turn off. So there are some uh, electronic that need only, uh, uh, that work only with two states, either high or low, or sometimes what you call uh, on and off. So these are the, the digital, so they are only two states. An analog uh, port, just like, uh, for example, when you tune your radio, or you're driving a car, or uh, have a radio at home, and you tune that radio, the volume knob, that potentiometer, to change the volume. So the volume is changed continuously, so that's what they're called analog, okay? And the other uh, two uh, pins that I want to talk about is we're going to use is the ground. So this ground is the same thing as this ground as you see when they are all connected internally. Okay. And then you have the 5 volt here. Um, and uh, so really all we need is these. And this is the, the microcontroller chip or circuit is this one here. So this is the entire board has so many functions, uh, but the microcontroller that we're gonna uh, program through the USB from your laptop, it will be uh, this is the microcontroller. So sort of the microcontroller. But let's, let's continue our uh, uh, connection. So we're gonna need to connect uh, our ground, and you can see there's a, a ground pin here. So the ground is going to be connected to the ground. I'm just going to make sure. I click on the ground port and I connect it there. Okay. I can just make it look nice. Uh, do it like this. Click on the, on the wire and drag it down. You can always use your shift to make it look nice and even. Just like that. And then I'm going to connect uh, my voltage, 5 volts, from here. I will make, uh, I can choose any one of these and I, con I can connect it. So let's just choose something from the bottom here. And I'm going to connect it with my 5 volt. And then just drag this, like so. Just use a shift P. And this is since this is a, a, a positive 5 volt, I'm gonna change the color to red. Select that and just select this red option here. So I have ground. Plus, so uh, I connected right now my Arduino with the breadboard. So notice that there is no voltage supply to the Arduino yet. So we can either uh, uh, 
uh, use the uh, USB of the uh, laptop to get the uh, 5 volt to the Arduino or we can use this uh, power jack here so since we're going to be using laptop so Arduino and the breadboard it will be supplied uh, the voltage is going to be supplied by, by, by the laptop so the next thing we need is uh, if we go back here to core this is most my part are I can find the resistor so I'm gonna need the resistor so I'm just gonna put the resistor right here okay and just zoom in so uh, you can see they are snapped to these uh, uh, I can uh, let's say my LED we're gonna need a, uh, another LED here light emitting by it and with the light emitting light it's not just like a resistor it's polarized so there is a, a, a positive side which is the uh, the long leg that you see here and the uh, negative uh, side what they call the cathode and if you look at the LED it has like a flat side uh, so this is the negative or that's where the ground is gonna go so I'm gonna put my um, my LED right there and I'm gonna try to rotate it uh, just like so I'm gonna have to connect my long side uh, that's gonna be the positive and I'm gonna see if I can drag my uh, LED leg and I connect it directly to, to the negative side of the ground so the reason why we put a resistor uh, to the LED and I will explain you uh, in the workshop uh, we are using Ohm's law uh, to basically uh, limit uh, resistance we are using resistor to limit the voltage drop at the LED otherwise if it was a, a very high voltage uh, we can burn it so and then we connect the other side of the, L, uh, of the uh, resistor we're going to be using pin 8, which is, a, as you see, pin 8 here. It's a, a digital uh, input output. And this uh, pin is going to uh, basically let us control uh, uh, currents flowing through the LED. So for now, that's all you have to do. Uh, to be able to follow us at the uh, workshop is uh, really create uh, this uh, diagram here. Okay, thank you, and I'll see you soon at the workshop and have fun. Thank you again.